what we have here is a 2020 Jeep JT Gladiator Rubicon Overland Poser Edition. Started off being a um, weekender kind of, a, you know, I wheel it every once in a while. Don't want to scratch it, don't want to dirty it. But then it turned into, hey, I want to camp, I want to cook, I want to bring the kids along. So it kind of turned into a rock crawler-ish overlander type mall crawler. What's still stock on it is the the motor, which is the 3.6 Pentastar with powered by the eight-speed transmission. Um, the drive lines are still stock. Well, the rear one is still stock. Front one, I have a uh, Adams drive shaft. I got Ultimate Dana 60s, uh, 538 gears with e-lockers because I think now that's the trend. Now that's the way to go. Um, less issues with. Uh, uh, air lockers uh, and you know airlines and things like that I've never had a problem with e locker so that's my preferred option uh, the way I'm able to uh, maintain a stock rear drive line is is that I uh, designed a yoke uh, specifically for the uh, stock rear drive line that will accommodate your your rear drive line so you don't have to go out and buy a more expensive you know seventeen hundred dollar drive shafts that are on the market granted they're good but you know uh stock has proven to be um pretty tough um holding up wheeling uh the engineers at jeep they did an awesome job with designing front and rear drive shafts so i just wanted to kind of keep that so in case you break your drive line get it wadded up or something like that it's a lot easier to find a uh, stock drive line at your local dealership versus a custom drive line all right so what we have here of course is uh evo manufacturing's uh, enforcer pro for the jt gladiator uh coilovers front and rear 2.5 uh coilovers front and rear um get plenty of flex out of them i i loved it in my uh, jk loved it on my um jl and it was a must for me to put it on my JT Gladiator now. So got my Evo front bumper. This bumper has been around for quite some time and it has proven to be uh, um, a reliable, high clearance um, bumper. Um, this bumper allows me to rotate the, uh, the electronic uh, disconnect for the Rubicon uh, JT Gladiator slash JL or JK and um, move it up out of the way. Just one less thing to get hung up on rocks or when I'm approaching a huge ledge or a rock or something like that. I got Evo rock skins on the sides uh, paired with uh, some custom made Evo uh, JT Gladiator weld on rock sliders. Yeah, so I got a unique setup back here. As you can see, it's a little bit different from your normal JT rear end here. Um, these are my own special concoction here which helps protect these very expensive tail lights that love trees and rocks um, and it's paired with Wilco's Wilco off-roads uh, tire carrier now I know it's not it's not made for a 40 inch tire it's actually made to go up to a 37 inch tire but there's a few mod minor modifications I've done to it um, I added a stinger on, I raised it up a little bit higher to give me a little bit more clearance so you can see the license plate and everything else. I added a strap for um, more rigidity so it won't shake or anything on me and it turned out perfect. I was able to also retain my backup light so I added that on to their, um, to their, uh, their mount here that helps secure the tire on. So I ran my wires and everything else so I still got my 
my backup light and I'm still legal. I got my third brake light here. So a little customization going on here, but I wanted my rear uh, tire out of the bed because I wanted more room in there. Cause when, when you're camping and you want firewood and things like that, that rear bed fills up real fast. So having a 40 inch tire in the bed pretty much takes up all the room. Um, if you want to run a fridge and your tools and everything else. So having it on the tailgate is essential for me. So this is what I came up with. It's been working great. I hadn't had any issues. I haven't hung it up at all. Haven't bent it. It's perfect for me. All right, so I got Evo Manufacturing's um, uh, bed rack multifunctional um, it allows me to mount multiple uh, applications I got my shovel I got my axe I got my roto packs back there I'm able to tie my bungee cords in there um, it's designed to where I could put a uh, rooftop tent on it with ease um, not a whole lot of cutting drilling and all that kind of good stuff it's stout it's made from 3 16 I believe so it's really strong. I've seen guys put 40 inch tires on this, this rack. And right now I got a, a tent that's about 120 pounds up there. So doesn't move perfect. And if it's a big guy like me, I'm 6'3", 260 pounds. And it supports me with no problem. Got my ARB um, element fridge back there. Keep all my food and juices and waters cold. Um, I also got my Rome, um, uh, storage compartment uh, for my tools and my fluids and you know extra parts uh, anything I need to do any kind of repair on my Jeep um, also I I got uh, my diesel heater because um, when I when I uh, camp you know especially at this time of the year right now it's really cold I like to stay warm so I got my diesel heater back there and the diesel heater works awesome in it and I made a bracket to slide right over the Evo manufacturing bed rack which works perfect. I've been running Nitto ever since I got into the game. I think I was I think I was uh, 2007. I've been running Nitto tires and I've been lucky, knock on Jeep, that I haven't had any tire failures. Maybe it, I haven't wheeled as, enough as much as other guys have, but from my personal experience, never had a tire failure. Um, they have done awesome for me. They're trail grapplers, I've had their mud grapplers, I've had ridge grapplers, but this 40 inch tire that I got on here, which is the 40 by 13.50 R17 is awesome, paired with uh, KMC's uh, grenade crawl wheels with an awesome back spacing and um, and a nice offset, it's a perfect combination. These are stock uh, fenders that are modified with Qua uh, Quake LEDs uh, lights in them. Um, they're, they were an awesome fit for me. They actually bring some rigidity back to the fender so they're not flopping in the wind. I'm, I was able to tie in the fender with the lights um, so I don't have any issues with them flopping, popping off on me. They're, they're pretty solid. Don't get any noise, wind noise or anything like that. They're perfect. The steering upgrade is from PSC Steering, um, awesome product that they made for the JT Gladiator. I love the fact that now they have the, uh, the cooler up in front. Um, the system stays cool. Uh, it replaced the, the electric steering that's in there, or the electric pump that's in there. This is just an, it was an easy upgrade for me to do because this is what I know. So if something breaks, I'm able to troubleshoot and fix it out here on the trail versus something that I got to hook up a computer or something too, that's all. Along with PSC, you know, everything becomes real close down there and you get some rubbing issues. So along with PSC, I got um, Steer Smarts, their beefy uh, track bar for the JT and JL. Um, also, I got their tie rod and their drag link setup. It's worked perfect, awesome, um, no bump steer. It's not there, I can, I'm driving this thing like it's a Cadillac, man, it's, it's, it's awesome. So what I got on the inside also is a Switch Pro. It works awesome with my phone. It's an app. You can power everything on from your phone. Up under the rear seat is actually a tank. 
uh, for my AR Breed twin air compressor, which is also behind the rear seat. Um, I like to have mine on the inside. I don't like it exposed to all the elements, water, sand, rock, dirt, whatever. Um, it stays cool, it's fine. I mean, it, some guys mount it under the hood, so it's used to heat, so I'm not worried about that at all. I air up there. At, the only other thing I got is just the uh, CB um, uh, bar that's at the top by uh, Eddie from Way of Life there, CB bar up in there, which is working out awesome for me. What's the bill for that? Man, it's hard. I mean, if I can have both, I would have the JL and I would have the JT, but if I had to choose one and I couldn't have the other, it would probably be the JT because the JT is just more functional for what we do out here. I mean, we want to do everything when we get when we go off road. We want to camp, we want to cook, we want to rock crawl, we want to bring our friends, we want to do everything. And all that keeps translating into is more room. And the JT has all of that. It has the bed where you could put all your gear. Um, you could put your rooftop tent in the back. Uh, you can put all your buddies, pile everybody in. You don't have to worry about laying down the back seat to put your fridge in or put extra blankets, pillows, toolboxes or anything. Nothing is jingling around in the cab because you got everything in the back. Um, like I said, the wheelbase is perfect. It's way more stable uh, for me. I have a lot more confidence driving the truck versus the, the Jeep because of just how stable it is. I mean, granted, you know, wheelbase is not everything i mean you will have issues where you're you know going through tight trees or you know sharp switchbacks and things like that where you have to do a couple of turns back up turn back up turn but it's a small price for me to pay to be in a jt versus a jl because i mean overall i can do everything with it which is what we want to do when we come out here anyway you don't want to be limited when you're spending the kind of money that you spend to play hard and and uh uh have fun you want to be able to do everything and the JT kind of edges out the JL a little bit uh, in that category because you can do a little bit more with the JT than you can with the JL.